Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. So this week I thought I would try something completely different and take you along with me vlog style. So I haven't been posting as many craft with me videos and um, I've been doing a lot of crafty stuff. So I thought it would be kind of fun just to take you along with me and show you the things that I have been working on, but do it kind of vlog style. So let me know if you like this. Uh, today we're gonna head to the post office and pick up a package from the Cheeky Bum. She just uh, finished up her group swap. It was a book lover swap and she sent the packages out. So let's go see who sent me a package. I will do a full unboxing, but I just want to peek to see which uh, which one it is. Little thank you note from Lacey. Oh, it's the Alice in Wonderland one. Oh my gosh, this one was beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys the full reveal. So cute. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited for that one. Okay, guys, it's the next day. I want to kind of show you what I'm working on today. I am doing some fussy cutting. So I have a couple extra little golden books and different Disney books that I have um, in my stash and I'm working on those villain kits this week so I am doing some fussy cutting of some villains. I was just working on a Aladdin book so I have some Jafar here. I also cut out some little words here and I think I'm going to mount these and then cut those out and include those in the kits as well. Um, but I have some Maleficent to fussy cut. Got some really good ones of her. And then I have, I think, another one yet. Um, nope, just those two left. And then this is what was left of the Cinderella book. These are the pages that I didn't use. I did fussy cut um, some stepsisters and the um, stepmother out of this one. So this was just a like an easy reader um, Disney one here. And then I also wanted to show you a couple things that I ordered from Etsy. This is just building up my own personal stash. These are not things that I'm gonna sell in my Etsy shop. These are things that I'm gonna add to some kits that I'm gonna put together. But I did get these strawberry coasters, which I think are so cute. Let me go ahead and open these up. I wanna show you guys what they look like. So these are new old stock um, Hallmark does the majority or I always look under Hallmark for these like paper type coasters but this is a different company this is Contempo Coasters um Beach Products 12 coasters three and three quarter inches made in the USA I don't think there's like a year or anything on here but you can tell that it's you know it's vintage but they are the cutest little strawberry ones and they're real thin you know you can see through them they are like a kind of like a, a little bit thicker cardstock material. So anyway, I got two sets of those on eBay and um, so I have a total of 24. And then I got these uh, new old stock labels as well. These were cat food labels. Look at how cute those are. I just thought the image was adorable and then I love all the different colors in the calico cat wording. Um, you know, it's got the plaids and the, the polka dots and the checkers. I think it's super cute. So, um, yeah, those will be going into some of my kits. And then this gingham dog, too, I thought was really cute. So I was able to get these from the same vendor, so it did reduce the shipping for me. But this is the gingham dog, dog food. And then these, again, are, um, you know, unused labels, but so cute i really like those so these i'm just gonna keep in my stash um to use in etsy kits so um yeah i i'm expecting a few more things from ebay this week so i'll make sure that i show you guys what those are as well right, i'm at a thrift store that's just a couple miles from my house so i can usually find some pretty good things here i haven't been here in a couple weeks and last time i was here i didn't really find anything so i'm hoping maybe they restocked got some new items in the prices are usually pretty good uh let's go see what we can find
All right, so the last clip you saw was me in the thrift store, and um, I got all the way to the checkout counter and realized that I forgot my wallet, and it had all my credit cards and my cash in it, so I had no way to pay. So they held the items for me. I went back after work. I paid for the items, and then I actually went um, and picked up a Facebook Marketplace purchase that I made and um, I'm going to show you that now but what I got at the thrift store I'll just do a little haul um, either I'll do a full video on it uh, because I did pick up some other things too I, at Goodwill I think it was a couple days ago so I'll put that all in a haul and you guys can see what I purchased all at one time but I wanted to show you what I got off Facebook marketplace and um, I was super excited so the seller was selling nine of these vintage Barbie books so they are from 19 I think they're 1966 Random House New York I let me find a year yeah, 1963, actually. I have to see what printing it is. And um, they are in really great shape. I was looking on eBay and I was looking at what these were going for. And they were going for quite a bit. And they were showing the inside of them. And they, the ones on eBay had a lot of like scribbles and writing in and people's names written in them. And a lot of... um like pen marks and just doodles and stuff inside of them and they still were going for a lot so these are like full like chapter books and then they do have some pictures in them let me get to a picture like some like sketch type pictures like this one has like that um there's not a ton of pictures so it's more like a chapter book so then here we've got Barbie Solves a Mystery. We've got Barbie in Television. And these are quite a few pages. They, I just love the, the jackets are really, the inside jackets are really cool. This one is, let's see how many pages. 100 and... 70, 180 pages. So it's like, a, it's a chapter book. There's Barbie and Midge on the motorboat. So yeah, really cool. So this is Barbie and television. Barbie, Midge, and Ken. All of them seem to be in, you know, good condition. There's no writing. Um, let's see. Barbie's secret. We'll grab the rest. There's nine of them in total. Bar Here's Barbie. Stories about the fabulous Barbie and her boyfriend, Ken. So I'm assuming this is probably like the first one that came out. Oh. There's like some pages where you can write something in here. Let's give a party. Maybe you aren't planning to attend a gala dance as Barbie did, but you can always give a party and have just as much fun. Oh, and then you can put down how you'll decorate the house, refreshments you'll serve. So that's kind of fun. It's like a little interactive. My Valentine's Day friendship list, who you're going to send Valentine's to. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And it's not filled in at all. So that, that one's kind of cool. Um, Barbie's New York Summer. I wonder if this is the whole series. I'll have to look up and see how many were actually in the series. Love those little pictures. Um, Barbie's Hawaiian Holiday. Oh, there's something in the back of this one. Did it give a list of books? No, what's your name in Hawaiian? Let's see if my name is in here. Nikki or Nicole? No, my name is not in here. But yeah, it gives a, like a translation for girls and boys' names. So those are kind of fun. I'm going to have to really look through these before I post them for sale. This one, oh, I'm sorry, Barbie and Ken. They are definitely on the phone with each other. Oh, there's Ken singing at Barbie. 
<laughs> love that. Um, and then Barbie's Fashion Success. So this one does have a little bit of damage up there, a little dust on there. So you can kind of see that. Um, you know, they could use a, a cleaning on the front, but I think all in all, I'm happy with, I'm happy with the condition that they're in. So anyway, I was super happy with these purchases. I even talked her down a little bit, so I got a little bit of a discount. So, um, yeah, I'm going to clean these up and probably post them for sale on my Etsy shop. And, uh, I'll show you guys exactly the other things that I bought in my next video. Okay, the lighting is not going to be the best in this room, but I thought it'd be fun to take you along with me to pack some order. The first thing that we're going to pack is this vintage doily or vintage uh, handkerchief, excuse me. And um, I already have them pressed and folded, so I'm just going to wrap it up within this doily. So I just want to make sure I have one here. It feels kind of thick. I think it's only one. That one looks a little bit too big. Let me try another size. I've got a whole stack here. Um, these are new. These here are vintage. And um, these really intricate ones are vintage. The rest are from Dollar Tree um, that I usually pick up or Hobby Lobby. Um, I think this one is going to fit much better. So what all I'm going to do is crease that over it like that. Then I did pull some ribbon. So I'm going to use the green because it is um, purple flowers and it's got the green trim on it. So trim off those edges there and then I'm going to take one of my business cards and we're going to tuck it in there and then I've got the pink padded envelope and I'm going to fold one of these sides down because I know it's not going to fit We're going to tuck it inside there. I'm going to grab a label that has my return address already stamped on it, and I'm just going to set it to the side, and then I can finish completing this one. Next up, I've got the library card. So there should be three of each one, so I'm just going to double check. Uh, she ordered a set of 21, so there's seven different colors. All right. All right, now I'm gonna find a clear bag that is going to house those. And I'll pull out, let's see if they'll fit in, I think they'll fit in one of these. Now they're nice and protected inside of the plastic sleeve. And I think we'll go with a half one like that. And we'll take this aqua ribbon. Just gonna cut a piece off. I'm just going to go around twice on this one. And then because it is grow grain, it's going to hold the knot better. So I don't feel like I need to double knot this one. I'm going to trim off the tails though a little bit. And then again, I'm going to tuck in my business card. And then this one is also going to fit in the small envelope. I'll get another mailing label. Oops, I have one out here ready. 
And then this one I can finish off camera as well. Okay, so then the next one is just a little bit different how I put it together. So uh, this one is a larger kit. It has multiple pieces of paper um, in different sizes. And these are, you know, some are fragile. They're older book pages. And then it's got the carrot that has um, different pieces in here as well. But I already put these inside of a plastic, a clear plastic bag, tucked that inside the carrot. So now I'm going to um, find a larger uh, clear bag to put these in. Oh, sorry. I have those here. Let's see if those will fit. Okay, so I think they'll fit in here. Let's take a look. If not, I do have a um, a set of bags one size larger than this. We're also going to tuck the carrot in here like that. And then we'll peel off, peel off the strip. And then we're going to fold that down. Okay, so I also pulled out this extra um, bubble wrap. I always save these things whenever I get anything shipped to me that comes inside this because now I can tuck that in there and then it's going to be extra protected when I put it inside this bubble wrap. I know it seems like overkill but I really just want it protected. And then I need to look for more of these. I know Dollar Tree used to sell these every once in a while but it is a huge just deck of playing cards and I put this in for extra sturdiness, just, you know, to avoid the postman bending it. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't stop them 100%, but it's just a little extra protective layer. So I put that in there. Um, and then I actually, before I do that, I was debating whether I wanted to do if I wanted to wrap it all in tissue paper or also put a doily around it. I think I'm going to, this is so cute for spring. I think I'm gonna go with the doily and just keep them all the same for this time around. So I'm gonna go with one of these nice big ones. And I think we'll do the fold in half again. So I'm gonna fold it in half, gonna tuck that like that. And then I think I'll use up, I'll use up the green. So I think I have enough to go around it one time. And then that's the end of this green satin ribbon. So we'll just tie that up. trim up those tails okay now I'm gonna put it together I'll put it back in here slip this behind it and then I'll put the whole thing in the bubble wrap and the bubble mailer and then I will get a get a larger mailing label to put on there and then what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna curate a little freebie bag for each of them I do like to tuck in a little bag that kind of coordinates with what they purchased. Um, and then I just put this little freebie sticker on the back of it and tuck that in, but I want that to be a surprise. So I'm gonna do that off screen and then these will be all ready to mail out. I am at my local grocery store here. They have a uh, post office inside there. So I'm gonna mail the Etsy packages that I put together last night. And then I don't think you can see it from here, but there is a Dollar Tree connected in a little strip mall there. So I'm gonna run into the Dollar Tree and see what I can find there. They haven't been having very much um, new stuff in there lately. 
So I'm hoping maybe today I have better luck, but we'll see what they have. I think I'm gonna end the vlog by just showing you the last couple things that I got off of eBay this week. I did pick up some new old stock of these Jack and Jill lemon flavor gelatin boxes. It was a set of two. They are unused. Um, I did get this like mixed pack of vintage tickets. I am looking for vintage ticket rolls, but um, I don't know. Then you have so many. I thought this was just kind of a smart way to start um, and just kind of collect different ones. These weren't that expensive. If you guys want the links to any of these that you see, I can definitely show you. You know, you might not have the exact same seller or, um, you know, the exact same item, but I can show you something very similar uh, to how I found it on eBay. But um, yeah, this is just a nice variety of vintage tickets that I can match colors and um, designs with uh, kits that I'm working on. So I have all of those. Then I did get this mixed soda label lot as well. Again, the new old stock. So we got root beer, cheer up. And then these, I did just look for different um, colors. So, you know, we've got some yellows, some oranges. That's just a different shade of yellow. These two I already have in my stash. I have um, these in a kind of a larger lot. So I have quite a few of those, but then these are different. I love the 70s look of these with the yellow, orange, and brown colors. Got some more of those. This is the Cherry Aid. This one incorporates a little bit more of the pink and red. This one has the um, pink in it. more of these again just all different colors I think they'll just be fun to mix in with different kits and then these again different colors there and then this blue one is the last one and then lastly I got two more coaster sets um, this one is obviously daisies with the green background these are not what I expected them to be but my fault not the seller's fault but I still think that I'll be able to use them they're just a little more um, hard so these are you know they're paper they're bendable these are more of a thicker cardstock so, but I do like that they are yellow. They're bright. The color is really pretty, I think. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'll use them. I still think you could put them in a journal. You could use it as a tuck spot. It would uh, be very stable in a book, but I probably won't use them as often as I would these type of paper coasters. So yeah, so that is it. Oh, one more thing that I did want to show you guys, um, another Facebook marketplace find, but this one is just for me. I found this super adorable retro garbage can. It is for my um, like Etsy area where I do like all my packaging of my orders and things like that. So it is just this awesome yellow garbage can. It was only $5. I absolutely love it. It's got like this embossed daisy on it. So um, I have a workbench in there that I have a like uh, just a fabric piece over the front of it where I cover up where I have like I store my boxes underneath there my shipping boxes and I also store my Christmas and Halloween um oh Christmas and Halloween 
paper crafting items and I want to find some kind of vintage vintage fabric to replace what I have there now so I thought I'd find something fun and funky in seven days to go there um, but I love this garbage can so anyway that is it for the week let me know if you guys enjoy this or not I had fun making it I love taking you guys along with me on my little journeys this week and I've got some fun stuff planned for next week so hope to see you again bye